What's up guys? This is Derek House from DHFDNS.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to make my Red Velvet Overnight Protein Oatmeal. It's quick, you only need a few ingredients and it tastes just like the cake. So let's get to it. The first thing you're gonna do is take out something to put all of your ingredients into, starting with a half a cup or 40 grams of rolled oats. You could use a jar like this, which has a cover and is extremely portable, especially if you're taking it with you. You can find these at most local home goods stores for around a buck. And then one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons or 10 grams of our favorite no sugar, high fiber ingredient, cocoa powder, one and a half scoops or 45 grams of a chocolate protein powder, half a serving, which with the mix I'm using is 19.5 grams of a red velvet cake mix. It's all about moderation and half a serving will more than bring out that red velvet flavor. Half a container, which is 2.65 ounces or 75 grams of a fat-free vanilla Greek yogurt, Half a cup or four ounces of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, regular milk, or any other milk substitute. And last, which is optional, a couple drops of some red food coloring. Now go ahead and mix everything together. Cover it up and then put it into the fridge overnight. Once it cools, it'll thicken up, and then you can top it with whatever you want. I like to top mine with some red velvet cake sprinkles. And there is your red velvet overnight protein oatmeal. As you guys saw, the oatmeal is done, so now I'm just gonna try a bite. So it's like a crossbreed between cake and ice cream. It's rich, filling, and of course, absolutely delicious. If you like red velvet stuff, you're gonna love this one. Two quick things. One, question of the day. What is your favorite way to prepare your oatmeal? Let me know in the comments below. Mine recently has been overnight. And two, if you guys haven't checked out TPC Apparel yet, you can do so by clicking right there. As far as the calories go in the whole recipe, there's 517, 9 grams of fat, 56 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fiber, and 53 grams of protein. All right, guys, I just want to thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, please go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to, you can do so by clicking somewhere down there on the screen coming up. Comments or suggestions go down below. On that note, thank you guys again for watching. I got some oatmeal to finish. Stay healthy.